Hey everyone, my name is Larry Snow, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new MailChimp landing pages. Yes, MailChimp just recently rolled out brand new landing page feature. So if that's something that interests you, stick around. It's coming right up. Now, before we get into the landing page and how you set one up is actually having a email list. One of the best ways to create a community is with an email list, an email list that are people that are actually opting in to get your content is the best way to start people on their journey to get to know you, to get to like you and get to trust you and buy your products and services. It is absolutely vital that if you are in the online business, if you're creating anything in the online world, whether it is a SaaS a, or a service or a product, uh, you need to have an email list. All right, let's get into creating a landing page in MailChimp. So once you've set up your account, if you already have MailChimp, you're familiar with this area, it is where you create your campaigns, it's where you create your email newsletters. And I've got a couple of tests here and we're actually going to, I've already published one and I'm going to take a look, I'm going to show you what it actually looks like once you create a branding page for people to sign up for your newsletter and or a downloadable product, which is what I have. So what I did here, let me just take a look. So this is what my landing page looks like. I have a logo, I have a header and I have some text that uh, hopefully catches people's eyes and interest and actually they sign up and download the ebook. And basically I took it all from my content that I already have on my website just to test it out. So that's basically what we're going to create right now for you. So I'm going to click on create campaign. Now I'm going to click on create a landing page. Now there are two types of pages. There's a sign up page, which is what I just showed you. And then there's a product page where you can actually add in a store product from a connected WooCommerce store. And I think there are other options as well for store products. And if you want to know how I connected my WooCommerce store to my MailChimp account, please let me know in the comments below, because that helps me know that this is something that you want to know more about. So let's do the sign up page first and then I'll show you quickly the product page. For the landing page name, we put in any name that we uh, want because the uh, person who's signing up for the content is not going to see it. So I'll just do testing. And then you want to select the, the mail list that you have set up in MailChimp. I'll select free ebook sign up because that is my email list. Click begin and you're presented with a very simple template to get you started. So I'm going to click logo and I'm going to click replace and I'm going to grab my SMS logo and click insert. Now I'm just going to go over to my free ebook page and I'm just going to copy the content here. Now, if you don't have the content, obviously you'll need to create it. Now we get to the form. Now, another thing that I'm not going to show you in this video, and again, if you want to know more about how I set up my forms on MailChimp, let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to do a video on it. But in the background of this, once you create your list, you create signup forms. And then this is where this is pulling in from, where it says email, email address and sign me up. The process where a person actually will download my ebook is connected to this. And you won't see that because I'm not going to show you in this video. But that's another process that you would have to do before you get to this stage. You'd have to set up those that series or a what they call a welcome letter or a once they register to become on your mailing list, you send them a thank you for signing up. And in there, I have a link that will uh, have the person who signed up click that link and go and download the ebook. And so all of that process has already been set up, but if you are new to MailChimp and you don't have that process set up, you'll have to do that. So once you get that process set up, then you can set up a landing page like this. 
So I'll click inside the box for the form. And of course, we want to change the button text to make it a little bit more inviting. We'll say um, uh, sign up and download the ebook. Okay. Click save. No, actually, we're going to go to style. Now, style is the style of the button. And the background color, I want to be more. A little bit more interesting more to my brand colors but there you go that's close enough and then the hover I'll, I'll keep that the same and you can have alignment left center right and you can have full width on check it and it'll be shrink down but I like the full width and then the next tab over here on the right hand side you want to click on confirmation because this is where you'll let people know what's going to happen next so you say uh, thank you for signing signing up to be to be part of the security marketing solutions community space space your ebook it is on its way to your email inbox. Something like that. And we might want to center this text. So we're going to the center. And we might want to make that a little bit bigger. So we'll do heading two. And we'll hit enter and just make it a little bit more interesting to the eye. Click save. Now, once we have the format and the coloring of our landing page, and once you're happy with how it looks, you can actually preview it. And this is how it's going to look on the web. And we can even test it. There we go. And click sign up and download the ebook. And here's the text. I can change that a little bit. I think that's a little bit big. Uh, thank you for signing up to be part of this. Game. Yep, and then you want to check to make sure all of the spelling and grammar is correct. And you can even view it on mobile. On mobile, it doesn't look too bad. And once we're happy with how our format is and everything is working properly, we're going to click Save and Continue. And then we're back to the uh, campaign. It says we're almost finished. And we're going to add in a page title. And for this, we'll just call it uh, SMS ebook. Now, as you notice here, it already preformats the URL for this landing page based on your title. And you can go in here and edit it if you'd like. But I'm going to keep it as, as it is. Click Save. And once we're happy with everything, we can click Publish. And we're going to publish our moment of glory. And it's live. And if we right click here and go to incognito window, here is our landing page. And we can send that out in, uh, we can send that out on our website. We can send it out in Twitter, social media, all that good stuff. All right. Now I'm going to quickly show you Go back to campaigns. I'm going to just quickly show you what it looks like on the product side. And again, I have it connected to my WooCommerce store. So we go to create campaign, create landing page, product page, give your product page a name. I like to do test. Now here's where it's going to select the store only because I have two stores. I have our membership store. And I have our is the ISDA online store. So I'll select the online store, click begin. And you're kind of looking at the same type of landing page as we did in the one for our ebook. And so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on formatting and everything, but I'm just going to click on this little box here for our product. And it's going to say use best sellers or you or browse all. I'm going to click Browse All. It's going to say, well, what store would you like? I'm going to click the same store again. 
and we can type in the name of the product or we can actually click the down arrow and get the list of everything that's in the store. I'm going to click on when stuff happens and click insert. Now the one thing that I've noticed in the formatting of this, it comes in a gigantic image and I haven't yet figured out how to make that small and when I do I'll let you know but you get the idea. So here's our button again so if a person was going to buy that we'd click on oh, we gotta click save and close. We gotta click on the button here and again we can do the style, we can do the content so here's our button view so you'd probably want to say buy now you know, on sale, whatever you want to say in there, right? And um, you want to link to the product page. You can uh, put in the price. Uh, you can update the title if you want. And then you can style the button and the layout. Oh, there we go. That's how you do it. There you go. I learned something new with you. So that looks a lot better. I don't yeah, that's way too big. And you can align center or left. Save and close. So there you go. And then you can add in additional images if that product has multiple images. And you can put in a testimonial about that image. So this would be great for courses or memberships. And you can put in a footer. Uh, and there you go. And then when you're done, you do the same process. You save and continue. And then it'll produce a URL. And that's the one you share out. So that's it guys. Thanks so much for watching. And again, if any of this interested you uh, and, and you liked it, please uh, click the like button because that helps me uh, get an understanding that you're actually enjoying this type of content. And also, if you want more information about MailChimp and you want me to do more videos, please put comments below so I know that what it, exactly it is that you're interested in learning more of. And if you want to know more about me, you can go to larrysnow.me and I'll see you in the next video.